discounts on car insurance. It's a miracle. I can walk again. Go back to your room, Susan Lucci. season finale. Brace yourself. No! No! Casey, tell me you found the next one. Yeah, Abby, I love you. The powerful Chicago Fire season finale. Tomorrow on NBC. <laughs> That's actual speed. We didn't speed that up. Welcome back to the semifinals. Great stuff, guys. Next up, David and Lindsay. Now, before they dance a tango, let's hear more about David's journey to the major leagues from his family and friends. David was a pretty easy kid. He always loved baseball. The first time I'd seen David play baseball was he was about five. David was, you know, a short, chunky kid. He's not like he is now. You could tell at an early age that David was going to be a special player. He really stuck out when he was playing high school baseball. When I first met him in college, he was like the big man on campus. He was a guy that, you know, you expected to have a long career in baseball. I had this misconception of the major leagues. I thought it's all glam and glory, and it wasn't that. I went from being a big fish in a small pond to a very, very small fish in a humongous pond. There was a lot of times when you look around the baseball field and I'm like, where do I fit in? Like, I don't belong here. It was a little bit difficult to see him uh, go from team to team. It was hard, and his kids, and his wife. My career changed when, in Cincinnati, I went to the manager's office and complained about playing time, and that was a huge mistake, and got released a couple days later, and all of a sudden I'm at home without a job. It's hard, it's really hard to see your son go through a struggle like that. The Boston Red Sox picked me up and I went there and, and Theo Epstein had talked to me about my reputation in the game and not accepting my role and kind of being a bad teammate. That was some of the most important words I'd ever heard. Knowing that I had a reputation of being a bad guy, that, that kind of hurt. I wanted to be a baseball player that my kids could be proud of. I think it made him stronger. We've always taught them to be humble because you can let your bat and ball do the talking for you. At that point in my career, I stopped playing the game for myself and started playing for the team and started looking at the bigger picture. I went into the free agency with not many expectations and the Cubs called with a two-year deal. It turned out to be the greatest decision I ever made. Ross flies one into center, sends Davis back. It was just unbelievable. It's the last game, World Series. They won, and all of a sudden you see these ball players picking your son up to carry him off the field. You couldn't ask for a better ending. Baseball is a lot like life. You know, as soon as you think you're on top of the world, something happens and knocks you right back down to reality, and it's a lot like this show. It's not a home run, but I tell you, you've got yourself to first base. David Ross is a fighter. I think that's why he's stuck through as long as he has in his career and in the dancing. He's the man. You know, he's just such a charismatic guy. He likes to have fun, smile on his face. You know, we're having fun watching Papa Rossi go out there and cut a rug, man. Lindsay and David, I just want to wish you guys the best of luck. We're all rooting for you here, the whole city of Chicago and the whole baseball world. You're our first representative in 24 seasons for Major League Baseball. They couldn't have sent us a better person than you. Six years old.
I don't think I've ever seen Bill Murray happier than in that clip. He's <laughs> like one for the old guy. Yeah, exactly right. Julianne looks pretty happy, too. Okay. I'm so over calling you the fan favorite. <laughs> because you are so meant to be here. You are such a great dancer. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> because we all know that we all root for you. You have the charm. You have the heart. You are everything. But what you're doing, the hard work that you're putting into this, and the improvement, I mean, you, you're, you are the show. This thank is you. what it's about. So thank you for all of your thank hard you work much. and everything. Yeah, thank you. I so enjoyed thank watching you. Thank you. Bruno. Thank you. David, I have to say, in this one, you went for it like a torpedo in a tuxedo. <laughs> I mean, driven, determined. I don't care what the judges are saying. I'm going to do this dance. Yeah. And you did it. You even managed the corners. Because usually, when it comes to a torpedo, I'm, I'm not quite awesome. doing it. You got it right. You turned without losing balance. Well done. Wonderful. Carrie Ann. I agree. I mean, for me, because of the, what Bruno just said, you often lose a little bit on the corners. You kind of get out of sync with Lindsay. But tonight, you didn't. Yeah. I think this was your best dance yet, but you did. Your foot came off the ground. I hate to say that, but you know what? No, I, I, I have to. You know, I'm always going to be. But what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to tell you is that the man's job is so difficult in this competition because he is the frame and the base of the teamwork. And you are the most amazing base of this team. This team is heart and great dancing Thank tonight. You very much. Right. So there was a little lift, is what you said. Yeah, when she did that, your foot came off the ground. You All felt right. it. I'm sorry. All right, Len. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, well, reached. but can you finish? <laughs> oh, I was about to sorry, get his Len. burger dress. All right. Well, that was shorter. <laughs> There's been better dancers on Dancing with the Stars. However, no one has tried harder, worked harder, <laughs> and given me more enjoyment than watching you. Aww. Thank you. All right. That's all nice, it's all sweet, but it really boils down to the paddle. So let's get your scores okay. right yes. here. Carrie Ann Inaba. Even then, a nine. Len Goodman. Nine. Julianne Huff. Nine. Bruno Tonioli. Nine. nine. 36 out of 40 for David and Lindsay. Their total for the night is 70. Oh no God. matter what the judges say, they need votes from you to take home the mirror ball next Tuesday night. Holy now, we're going to find out how Simone and Sasha and Rashad and Emma got their fighting spirit when we come back. Great stuff. And then, one couple will be eliminated a week before the finals live. This 
so I did not say that hip hop has done more damage to young African Americans than racism in recent years. I never bet my fucking life. This is my heritage, all I'm inheriting. Money and power, the maker. I'm I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty. What are you doing here? You were explicitly told you were not allowed. Inside. We're outside and I have some questions. Well, I don't have any answers. We know nothing about any rocks or skeletons. Of course you don't. It's actually not what I came to talk about. Then why are you here? You took a photo of Bree and some guy inside the library last week. What about it? I'd like to see it. Why? Because I'm trying to find out who's really responsible for Christina's murder. Then look in a mirror. Look, I know what you think, Jubilee, but I'm actually trying to find the truth. Christina's dead, and I seem to be the only one who cares. Well, I can't help you. I delete all my photos once I upload them on Facebook. So, look there, I guess. Goodbye. I can't. We're not friends on Facebook. <laughs> Damn right we're not. So I won't be able to see it. Guess not. Bye-bye. Where's Bree? Not here. Okay, well, when will she be back? You don't understand. She's not here anymore. Permanently. No longer a Delta new. What happened? She's done. And so am I. Why spend more to look ageless? Olay gives you transformed skin and raves from top editors. Allure Best of Beauty, 18 years in a row. Millions choose Olay. Shouldn't you? Olay, ageless. This is the original light beer. Brewed with the belief that a beer could be light and not compromise on taste. To be enjoyed on nights that start out as afternoons. Miller Light, hold true. Our team protects the bay at all costs. This is nothing you would see me, people! This is Bay One, you pussy! Training begins at 0600. Quit saying 0600. That's not a real time, and we all know it. <laughs> I didn't touch you. You dick. 